Let's ultrasound. On today's edition of Abdominal Ultrasound, we're talking about the sagittal pancreas. Is it on axis or off axis? So first, a little review of the sagittal pancreas. We see the pancreas anterior to the portal vein and the SMV. And we call this either the ultrasound hamburger sign or the exclamation mark sign. If the hepatic artery is visualized, it's the exclamation mark sign. And if the hepatic artery is not visualized, then they think it looks like a hamburger and it's known as the ultrasound hamburger sign. So the bulk of the pancreas is gonna be anterior to the portal vein and the SMV, and then you may or may not see a portion of the uncinate process below the portal vein and SMV. I think one of the trickiest things about imaging the pancreas when you're new to ultrasound is that the pancreas can be many different colors or echogenicities as we say in ultrasound terms. In the far left image, this sagittal pancreas is hyperechoic compared to the liver echogenicity and isoechoic compared to the surrounding fats. In the next image over, this sagittal pancreas is also hyperechoic. And this is the same image as the image on the far left. Note that the pancreas looks much more hyperechoic. And the difference in these two images is the gain level. So the gain level can also affect how bright the echogenicity of the pancreas is. The middle image is a sagittal isoechoic pancreas. The pancreas echogenicity is isoechoic compared to the liver. And we see the pancreas lying anterior to the portal vein and the SMV. And it's hard to even delineate where the borders of the pancreas versus the liver are. Note, however, that this pancreas echogenicity is hypoechoic compared to the fat posterior to the portal vein. The next pancreas over is hypoechoic. And that means that this pancreas is darker in echogenicity than the liver. And you'll note that it's easier to delineate the pancreas borders when it's abutted up next to the liver. And then there's also echogenic fat posterior to the portal vein. And then the sag pancreas on the far right is a medium gray shade. And the liver is actually slightly hypoechoic to the pancreas echogenicity. And note the visualization of the pancreas uncinate process inferior to the portal vein. And this is shown with the yellow arrow in the image. So how do you tell if the sagittal pancreas is on axis versus off axis? Let's look at some examples. In the image to the far left, this sagittal pancreas is off axis, and we're looking for the exclamation mark sign. And this is a hyperechoic pancreas. However, we're only seeing a portion of it because the portal vein and the SMV is not elongated fully. In the next image over, the sagittal pancreas is on axis, but it's compressed. Just like the pancreas, neck and body can be compressed in a transverse image, it can also be compressed in a sagittal image. Now note that the hepatic artery is present and you can also see a nicely elongated portal vein traveling into the SMV. But the key here is, yes, you want to get the vessels elongated, but you also wanna ensure that you're showing as much pancreatic tissue as possible. So in this case, coming higher up in the body and then heel toeing that sagittal transducer would give a better window in which this pancreatic tissue is not compressed. In the middle image, the sagittal pancreas is off axis and you can see that the vessel, the portal vein and SMV are starting to curve downwards and When you start to see this, it means that you're not sagittal to the lie of the pancreas itself, rather you're more sagittal to the body. And note in this 
example, the pancreas echogenicity is isoechoic to the liver. In the next image over, the sagittal pancreas is on axis, and we see that nice exclamation mark sign, and we see that elongated portal vein moving into the superior mesenteric vein, and we also see the hepatic artery. And you can see a portion of the pancreas on top of the portal vein, and then also a portion of the uncinate process posterior to that portal vein. And note that the pancreas echogenicity is similar to the liver. It's just maybe slightly brighter. And then you can also see the stomach anterior to the SMV. And then in the far right image, we have another on-axis sagittal pancreas. And this is a hyperechoic pancreas. And note the stomach and the shadowing anterior to the SMV. And it's important to note when you're imaging the sagittal pancreas that a gas cloud from the stomach often covers the SMV. And note also in this example that the portal vein into the SMV is nicely elongated and there's clear pancreatic tissue anterior to that portal vein.